Talapia breeding is one topic which is not widely covered in aquaponics. However, I feel that this top this uh, topics is very important for home enthusiasts that have uh, aquaponic system and for them to replenish the stock of fish. Hi, good morning. I'm Afnan from Afnan Aquaponic. Today I'm going to share how I breed my own tilapia. A very simple traditional methods. Nothing fancy, no hormones, no injection. Uh, it's not rocket science. Something which is doable. Uh, uh, everyone can do it as long as they can follow a few simple guidelines of how to um, uh, how to identify the male and female tilapia. Okay, let's get on with it. Uh, we show it you in the tank how I naturally breed my own tilapia. As you can see, my setup consists of uh, one main tank with grow bit on top. As you can see from this uh, footage. Then I have a smaller auxiliary tank with water flowing into it. This smaller auxiliary tank is the one that I use to uh, store um, fingerlings, fish fries, any smaller fishes. And this tank is also the one that I use to breed my own tilapia. Let's have a closer look and how it's done. And bear in mind, this is for, not for commercial intent. This is for home enthusiasts, uh, small scale uh, tilapia uh, breeding using a traditional method. The first step to breed tilapia, you need a nursery tank or any, um, any smaller tank which you can house a few tilapia. So what I did is to have this auxiliary tank with water flowing through from the main tank. And I place in the tank about five tilapia. Okay, sometimes the tilapia will come from the main tank then usually I will catch them and throw it back into the main tank, the smaller tilapia. Anyway, I usually put about five tilapia and I hand pick them uh, normally will be three female and two male tilapia. How do you choose the tilapia? That's the main question. Okay, there are a few videos online and books that uh, teach you how to identify the male and female tilapia. I have in my blog also, but it's not a foolproof method because it's quite difficult to see. Mainly, uh, male tilapia have only one opening at the back, uh, something around its anus. But the female tilapia will have two openings, one opening as the uh, anus and the one, one more opening further back. But that is difficult to see. Sometimes they use blue dye to check uh, for this opening. But with a bit of a um, magnifying glass or bigger fish, you can identify those the male and female tilapia. So what I do, normally I put the male and female tilapia in this uh, tank and just leave them there. Leave them there for roughly around two months. Uh, matured tilapia, leave it in this tank for roughly two months. Then it's best to cover up this tank, to shade the tank so that they have a very um, the environment is not really exposed so that they will be easily startled. And it's also best to have some kind, some kind of media, not too much, rocks, uh, pebbles inside the tank. Uh, then the female will lay eggs on the gravel area, then the male will pick up. They are mouth breeder, they mean they will store their uh, youngs in their mouth. So. After roughly around one or two months, you have to slowly spy on this tilapia because 
if they did not see any um, danger around, the young ones will get out of their mouth, their parents' mouth, and will swim around. So you have to slowly uh, spy them and to see if there's if this thing happen. Uh, the best one of the best way I put uh, uh, handphone camera on a time lapse photography and just monitor it over a few hours. So once you have young tilapia developing, it's best to catch the other fish and just remove the young tilapia, put them, leave them inside this tank, and then start to feed them to make them bigger. Or you can use another smaller tank with water circulation and feed this tilapia, feed the, the fry. With, normally I use rice bran, uh, it's powdered, so it's easier. Or you crush the fish feet to feed the tilapia fry. Not like this one that you can see, is bigger fish feet, which the smaller tilapia have difficulties. By the way, I got to catch those smaller tilapia in here and throw them back into the main tank. I think they escaped. Uh, the main tank and not sure how they get it in that here and the few smaller fish those are goldfish I have to catch them also and put it somewhere else otherwise if you have uh, tilapia fry those are going to be fish food for all the slightly bigger tilapia that's it that's how I breed my own tilapia it's no rocket science it's a very simple process naturally you don't need a hormone you don't need injection don't let the posting on the internet how scientifically it was done it's, it's basically a simple process which anyone can do um, without any problem you only need a spare tank by the way i've changed my audio setup because I'm having difficulties with my old Lavalier system, have a lot of interference. Now I'm using the Rode Wireless Go. Hopefully the audio will be better, but there are noise from fans coming from the neighbor houses. That one I can't help it. Most important, it needs to have a clean audio. Bye. Thanks very much for watching. This is Afnan Koponik signing out. Bye.